Imagine you're a DoorDash delivery person and this happens to you. I'm just dropping off your food. All right. <laughs> It's probably going to be your last night at this point, right? Definitely going to be mine. I hope that he got a tip for that. So it's been nearly a year since this whole thing called a bonus was offered by Uber and Lyft. They did have that guarantee thing, but that was just useless. But one of you guys, a viewer, actually sent me this. Some evidence that they are providing bonuses for drivers in some markets. Look like this one is here in Los Angeles. Now, this amount of money isn't much to scream about, but when they're not offering bonuses at all, it's actually pretty good. Now, I don't know if y'all, some of y'all OGs remember, they were giving out $500 and $1,000 for people to drive only maybe about two, three years ago. So it's not a huge bonus, but I do think that they should be offering incentives for people to drive right now, especially those people who are on the road and those who have decided not enough money for me to risk my life. Earlier this week, Uber bought Postmates for $2.65 billion. Uh, they have been in talks with Grubhub for a couple weeks and Grubhub actually sold to a company in Europe. Looks like they settled on Postmates. Now we all know that Uber right now is not making that much money with rideshare. So they've been sustaining their business with Uber Eats. So this seems like a money grab and a good move for them. There's a new scam out there where uh, passengers are saying that you don't have a mask, so they don't have to pay cancellation fees or even trip fees. So you would jump in the car, ride to your destination and complain after you get to your destination? If SMH was a facial expression. Last month we talked about driver-led pricing, which is a fancy way of saying setting your own fares. Uber says that all of California can do that. So statewide, all drivers have the ability to do so. It's in an effort for Uber to prove that you are not employees, you are independent contractors because independent contractors set their own pricing. This feature is called a fare multiple. Some of you may have already seen it. Um, you are able to set whatever multiple you want to apply. It also warns you that if you set it too high that you may not get as many trips i do think there's the potential of people setting their prices too low that's my only issue i don't want anyone to lowball themselves to encourage more trips that's my fear uber is also testing a drive pass promo um it allows you to pay money up front you receive zero percent service fee on 50 trips in a seven day period in normal times, I see the beauty of this. It makes a lot of sense to me if you've got volume, but it is concerning right now if you don't have a lot of business in your market. This could be beneficial for Uber and you would be out of money. Program is launching in a couple of counties here in California. All right, so now that we're kind of back a little bit, I wanna reintroduce what would you do. This is today's story. It's Whatever pass asks you to, why do I do that? Whenever PAX asks to stop by a liquor store slash fast food restaurant and they ask if you want something, do you guys accept? I typically decline and say thank you and they almost always tip. Or are you one of those drivers that say add to stop through the app? Just curious. I've been on both sides of this. I've definitely um, accepted the gifts. I've uh, said, no, go for it. Pulled up to the spot, let them go in, didn't expect a tip, didn't expect anything, and almost always got a tip. Even before tipping was a feature, many moons, many, many moons ago, I could expect to get a nice little cash tip. And if I didn't get it, which that never happened, I wouldn't care, like, because you get paid for time too, even though it's pennies. <laughs> It really wasn't that big a deal for me. So um, I know most of you have had this experience. Why don't you let us know what you would do in this case so the newbies can find out how the OGs do it.
appreciate you guys watching and commenting and and a lot of interaction this past week a lot of people shared stuff with me and i love it two of my stories actually came from viewers like you so if you guys have any tips or anything like that hit me up on my facebook i check it every single day and i also have a youtube you can find me at drive girl drive there's a lot of cool creators here they have a lot of interesting things to say every single day new videos so subscribe to harry's channel and um i'll see you guys next week same time same place peace out